Disclaimer, this podcast was not made to slander or speak ill of any author we will soon talk about. We will try our best to disassociate the author from their books. This is a book discussion, and we are just speaking our opinions and not just speaking negatively about any book. And this is a spoiler warning. In case you forgot, the story follows a teenage girl named Laura Jean. She writes five love letters to five boys she supposedly loved and keeps it in a box to save as mementos. Later, she finds out that her letters get sent out, causing awkward tension between her and the few boys who receive them. She gets into a fake relationship to avoid confronting one of her problems. As this extra no-use decision gets set in motion, Laura Jean has a lot more to clean up than just her love letters. So the book series to all the boys I loved before, it like got super popular because of the movies and we did watch the movies together. That was fun. Yeah, I remember like hearing about the book, like the movie name and I didn't know they were books. Yeah, I didn't either. And yeah, and I remember being intimidated by the movies because they were like (laughs) rom-com and I was just like, no, thank you. I'll stick with what I got, you know? I literally watched the movies beforehand, and I don't necessarily regret it, because the movies really aren't that bad. Yeah. Like, I liked it when I first watched it. That was, like, it was a time where, like, I didn't have any taste in anything. I just thought, like, I just thought it was cute, because I was like, oh my gosh, she wrote five letters, and and then found love from it, and then now I'm just like, that was really cringy, but you know, whatever. I remember thinking that the whole concept was so original. I was like, wow, that's so cool. And I was like, that's so cute and and quirky. Yeah. I mean, the entire concept's interesting. It I always it baffles me why she thought it was a good idea to put an address on the letters and hide them in a hat box. But it's like therapeutic because she's just like, Oh, I feel like I've I've let it all go now. But why would she, like, resolved. address it and stamp it and make it look all, like, yeah. like, an actual letter? Yeah, and these are contemporary books, so they're in modern times. Why don't you just, you know, type it on your phone? Yeah. What? People like, literally rant in their, like, notes app, and they're like, oh my god, today, da 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 And then, like, sometimes like, they, like, no one screenshot ever sees it. it and post on their story. I'm like, I didn't ask for this. <laughs> You know, yeah, whatever. it's always awkward when people like show stuff on their story and and they're like people I don't never met. Yeah, really. and then it well, gets like super like, personal or whatever. And I'm like, oh. Yeah, like they like talk about some drama that's going in their life, and I'm just okay. Love that for you guys, but it's also really, really entertaining because I don't know these people. I know I'm literally on people's private stories, and like some of them are my actual friends, but I still don't slide up because I'm like I I don't really. I don't really feel like it. But, like, there's also people that I literally don't know, and they're, like, posting, like, about drama, and they're like, oh, my God, don't even talk to me about blank. I'm like, what (laughs) happened? (laughs) It's just, like, don't hit me up. Only the real ones know. (laughs) For real. Yeah, well, or I, see, this is what I do. I ignore everything. (laughs) And that's it. We know. (laughs) I only watch stories of people that I actually yeah, care I only about, see, but sometimes like, I'm bored I and I just like few. the tea and the drama without yeah. the commitment or anything, so I just like, you When know. people screenshot other people's stories, I'm like, oh, I know, that's, that's intense. Oh and, then they, and then they reply like about it, too. And yeah, I'm like, and there, it's like a dang. whole like argument. Oh yeah, and then and, and then they keep like screenshotting each other's stories, on. and then they and, yeah, <laughs> and they like add their caption. I know, and then they and they change the color of their text. That's th- oh my god! When they change the color, that's when it gets I know. real. I'm yeah. like, dang, T is about to go down. <laughs> and then they like start like texting in all caps, and I'm like, wow, that's next Bro, level. When the caps, and you know, it's like it's been going on for a long time. When like the like the original image gets really blurry, yeah, and yeah. under it is blurry, and I'm like, oh, dang. <laughs> it, it's always awkward though, because sometimes I don't know the other person. I'm only friends with. Well, not even friends, but, like, you know, on Snapchat, I have the other person's, I guess, like, I don't know how to, friends? Isn't Snapchat, uh, uh, like, your pe- followers, like, friends? Yeah. 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 <laughs> but they're not, they're acquaintances, like but they're my friends, friends on Snapchat. Or? Yeah, mutuals. Is it? And I just have to, I have to add the other person so I can really yeah. get it. <laughs> yeah. Like, really I remember, get it. I remember there was this time where, like, these two people, like, they were just going at each other for, like, a while. And at the end, they're like, okay, we're besties now. I'm like, what? Oh. Yeah. 
Love oh that. Oh my god. And then it's, when it's on Instagram, I need to follow someone. Like, if it's a private account, I'm just like, dang, I wish I could see. But I don't want to <laughs> follow know. them because that's just weird. Yeah, just you know, to look at the tea. I mean, I don't want to, like, stray too far from the topic. But, like, one time this girl was, like, she tagged, like, someone. And she was just like, this is literally you. And it was, like, uh, one of those, like, reels from TikTok that was, like, you're a fake friend and what? And I was like, oh. And I was, Wait, they team. added the person? Like, no, they tagged the person. And I was like, oh. And so wow. I went to go follow the, or, like, look at their account. But it was private. And I was like, dang it. I mean, sometimes my friend just tags me as a joke. They're, they're just like, you see, I know you're getting, like, you know, like, just a joke. Because, I don't know. It's a weird friendship. <laughs> I love that. So, like, <laughs> if you ever see me on TikTok like, and someone tags me going, I like you're the fake vibe friend, of not. the writing itself. Like, it doesn't stand out to me. But it's just, it's just there. It's, like, cute, I guess. Yeah, it's nothing special, but it's, like, kind of, it's not personal. It's, like, more casual. Like, you can read the books really fast. I know I read them all in, like, two days or something. Yes. <laughs> Love that for you. Speedy. <laughs> and you. you said you weren't a fast reader. Yeah. You are like, oh, I'm a slow reader. I was like, that is absolute, like, I don't lies. know. You guys are really fast. And sometimes mm-hmm. I look at your Goodreads and I see how many <laughs> books you read. And I get really overwhelmed. I'm like, dang, I'm not doing anything have, with my life. So. You aren't doing anything. I haven't read a book. And, like, I read one book. But, like, I haven't, like, read. You know, the last thing you rated was, like, a driver's. <laughs> oh. I know, I saw that, and I was like, wait, what? I saw that one star. And I'm like, I'm gonna rate it one star. <laughs> I saw that, and I was like, dang, she's salty. I know, and I'll I have to... Anyways, <laughs> my Goodreads, like, I haven't added... I mean, I have read, like, a few books, but, like, I haven't enjoyed it. You know what I'm saying? Oh. <laughs> like, I, oh my God. I don't know. This year on Goodreads, I committed to, like, the 2021 challenge. I want to read this many books. Oh, yeah, I did. I you did 45. So I want, I want to be too overwhelmed. But the thing is, 45 is less than a book a week. But, like, I'm really going hardcore. Yeah. So Yeah, like, it tells you how how ahead you are. And it's literally, like, you're four books ahead or you're three books ahead. And it's, like... I know. And I'm, like, dang, I'm, like, really ahead. And I'm just... I'm, I just keep banging it out. I'm... <laughs> I'm going hardcore on this challenge. I don't know. I don't think I'm going to read as many like books it. this year as I did last year. I know. Yours is 10 books. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I'm probably going to... I saw that and I was like, okay. I'm probably going to end up reading more than that. I just chose 10. Obviously. You're not going to read 10, <laughs> only 10 books this That's year. That's literally less than one yeah. book a month. Yeah. That'd be kind Whoa. of depressing, honestly. honestly. Imagine yeah. reading only one. Because like, Bro, there's like summer. There's like those people who only read like one book a year, and I'm like, what are you doing with your life, yeah. honestly? I know they like read. They they watch TV shows, but the thing about TV shows is that I can't sit through them. Yeah, I like I need to be doing things. I have, and reading is just a nice in between. I don't know. I have like a thing, long but... like attention span for books, but I have like a short attention span for like everything else. Yeah, like when I whenever I watch a movie, it's bad. But I always like check my phone, or I need to be doing <laughs> something, or else I can't concentrate. I can't just sit there. For but movies, I, mean, for I always pay attention, but for TV shows, I never Same. do. I mean, yeah. for movies, I get bored. Like I remember, I've watched it all the boys I love before multiple times. I don't know why. I thought it was same. I like it was cute. I watched the second one. It was less cute, the but the first one was, one was worse, cute. But... Like. I liked it. I thought, yeah. like, the whole concept was cute. I think it would have been good as only, like, one book. I think the whole concept... Yeah. I mean, yeah, I just felt like the other two were just, like, there, not really, like, doing much. Yeah, with realistic fiction, I always feel like they could just stop at the first book. It's always, there's the first movie, and then the second movie, there's some kind of love triangle or some problem comes up, and the couple breaks up and then the third movie usually if it's a high school thing it's them going off to college and they're str- freaking out. <laughs> this is literally like, just all the boys that. before not just like rest- rest- yeah, but- contemporary or realistic fiction or whatever category it's called it's like for this like re- like rom-com yeah. high school movies like to all the boys before follow that the kissing booth kissing booth yeah oh right that's musical. true Oh, like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, like, the, every trilogy thing, like, follows that or pattern. 
And, like, yeah, it's kind of tiring and boring. Like, it's repetitive. And, yeah, I still, like... I eat that up. (laughs) Honestly, same. Like, I I still watch the movies. I still read the books. Like, I'm just like, wow, I don't like it. But then here I am reading it, and I'm like, oh, wow. So... Yeah. It's, like, fun just to read. It's not bad. It's just, like, repetitive things. You're just like, yes, go off. (laughs) Like, yes, go, do this. this (laughs) I'm so excited. Yeah, I saw this TikTok talking about High School Musical, about how all the movies are essentially the same, where Troy needs to choose between basketball and the musical, and then Gabriella needs to choose between school and the musical. Like, think about it. But the thing is that I eat it up. Like, all the (laughs) movies are essentially the exact same thing, except for one is normal, one is in the summer, and one's in graduation year. But it's so good, and I rewatch the movies. And, like, all the TV shows, like, all, like, even if they're not, like, realistic things, Fiction, all like the superhero ones they're, like it has the same plot and then I still yeah. eat it I still watch it all and I'm just like wow this is so interesting <laughs> even though it's like literally not yeah and the best part is that I complain about how repetitive same. It is, but <laughs> yeah, I keep yeah. watching we it always have a problem with complaining like... about like the repetition of like stories and stuff even though like we're just being hypocrites I literally still enjoy yeah. them yeah christmas movies like the christmas <laughs> cheesy rom-coms that's a whole other situation princess Switch like, two. <laughs> oh yeah, my god no. i can't okay i can't bring myself to watch that i just I watched there can't be again. another one there can't be another one i can't There's do like that three of them. No. i know i mean oh vanessa hudgens is out here making bank like literally I know. three I wish that was me, characters honestly. there was also like the night before christmas one that she was in. Oh my God, I watched yeah. part of it, but I could not. I was like, stand they literally it. turned a bad joke into a movie. No, but it's, it's really like funny. when the guy travels through time. You know I said, what? I, oh yeah, he does. Oh yeah, yeah. I watched like a mini TV show for like the Christmas thing, and it was really bad. But it was I I like binged it in a weekend, <laughs> but it was so bad. But I loved it. <laughs> Like, it's so weird, because, like, it's not that I'm rage-reading, like, whenever I read a book that I really don't like, and you just rage-read it for fun, just to, like, be angry. (laughs) But, like, I enjoy it, though. That's the thing. Like, every book, like, five feet apart, I enjoyed it. Like, I didn't like it, but I enjoyed it. I know, I know what you mean. Like, the moment while you're reading, you're like, hey, this is pretty good. And as soon as you finish, you're like, what did I just read? (laughs) Honestly, that's me every time I read a book. It's so good. Yeah, every yeah. time, like, I think about it, and I'm like, oh, that was actually really dumb. But then while I'm reading, I'm like, yes, let's keep going. Let's keep going. <laughs> yeah, The Wrath and the Dawn, it was really bad. But I ate it up. <laughs> I loved reading it. Like, it, it's, it's, really, just, like, it's so bad. I'm just like, it was, I enjoyed it, and that's the thing. I didn't like it. I just don't like books. Even, like, I don't know. I just hate everything. Has a book podcast. Does not like books. <laughs> I don't like reading bad books, but I think everything is bad. So I mean, my opinion is kind of void. So facts. I just like, but because there's for the the thing about YA is that the romance just makes me happy. That's true. You know, like, yeah. like the cute movement, mo- not movements, <laughs> moments. Like it just. It just warms my yeah, heart. Yeah, I remember, it makes me like, happy. in the movies and in the books, Laura Jean and, like, Peter, when they were, like, you know, sharing moments, I'm like, oh my gosh, this is so cute. Yeah, they're so cute, but, like, the thing is that, as a whole, I don't really like them Yeah, as like, they're kind of toxic, but, I mean, how else are they going to have drama? Mm-hmm. I mean, Laura's kind of too good for him, but at the same time, he's kind of too good for her. Yeah, and then they're also both, like, really territorial over each other almost like they don't like that i think to other oh people. yeah that's true i was gonna say i think lord jean is more but then i thought about peter and john <laughs> and i was like nah dude mm, yeah in uh well i guess we shouldn't talk about ps i love you but like that was a whole thing yeah. and yeah, i was that like was a oh whole my god thing. like it was kind of really concerning because along with the repetition with the timeline of events it's also that they're both, like, really, like, in the second movie, there's always another guy, and they're both like, ooh, like, ooh, scandalous, what's gonna happen? <laughs> scandalous. No, but, I don't know, in, like, to all the boys I've loved before, like, the the book, and I guess kind of the movie, I just, I don't know, I can't get over the fact that Noah Centineo plays Peter. Like, mm, I, Noah Centineo isn't a bad actor, I just don't like uh, 
<laughs> like I just seeing him like in so many other movies, it kind of just like ruins the experience. Mm-hmm. I'm not gonna lie. Yeah. I feel like I would have liked Peter more if I read the books first. Yeah, But then same. every single time I think of Peter, I think of Same. Mason and then I'm just and then like, dialogue well, on the inside. And then just a part of me, like, literally shrivels up and I'm like, I don't know, because, like, also yeah. in the books, they made Peter seem more of, like, super jock-like and, like, popular, you know? But then, like, in yeah. the movie, just felt less than that because he didn't, like, seem like... Well, yeah, because he never really went to lacrosse practice yeah. yeah it just seemed like in he wasn't books, like in the movie it just seemed like he wasn't like a jock or anything but then there's also yeah. like those moments where like he is in the know? field where like Laura yeah Jean, and also Laura like Jean when all those girls would him. be on top of him <laughs> and stuff yeah but the thing is that in the books it's pretty obvious that lacrosse is it like basically his whole life essentially because he mm-hmm. got a well actually i don't want to say it but like in the last book you know just cut yeah. that out. But in the books, he's a big part of his team. Like, he's the main guy. But in the movies, he's just a part of the team, you know? Like, he's good, but he's not Yeah, the like, they don't really treat him guy. like he's, like, the king, you know? Like, even though, like, they say yeah. he is, but, like, they don't really treat him like it as much. Or, like, it doesn't... He just mm-hmm. seems like he's just there. Yeah, because it just wasn't a big part of the movies because the movies got to be, like two hours an hour and a half ish and they mm-hmm. can't just add everything but i don't know in the book it just felt like it had like the story but then sometimes there'd just be random like things just plopped in making yeah. more drama yeah i always thought it was kind of weird how peter's friends were in the books but they loved laura jean but like laura jean's so boring so why did they like her i don't really <laughs> know because she was so short and they called her like large large yeah that <laughs> large 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 yeah i think large. large but like honestly for me the most annoying part and like i know this is part of the story this isn't really like my issue with the book because the whole reason it's there is for the book plot but at the same time it's such a stupid thing it's just like she could have literally just talked um what's her neighbor's name josh she could have just told josh like yeah i liked you before you and margo started dating but no she had to start fake oh, yeah. dating peter like just to like <laughs> come on problem solution it's that easy no but like dating peter made the whole situation so much worse because margo doesn't like peter Josh doesn't like Peter. Like, no one likes Peter, but then and Peter's Peter just Peter was Jen. involved with Gwen. Her name's Jen. Yeah. Is her name Gwen. Gwen or Jen? It's Jen. It's Jen. It's Jen. It's Jen. It's Jen. Like, Jen. Genevieve. <laughs> oh my god. I just, like, don't really understand. It just, like, the whole thing just seems super high school. I mean, yeah. Like, I get that it's in the book for a reason, but at the same time, I'm like, does it need to be? But it does, because that's the whole reason they start fake dating. <laughs> Ugh, it's just so annoying because you see them and you're like, you could literally just talk. Yeah. Like, you could just talk your way out of all of this, honestly. But then... The whole book was just kind of unnecessary. Plus, it takes place in, like, a couple months-ish. It takes place in, like, one month. It, no, well... Mm, no. Well, not really, because they also have that ski trip. at the beginning of the year and then there's the ski trip. Yeah. That there. So it's like oh, I months. guess, yeah. That's, like, several... That means P.S. I Love You only lasts, like, two months. It lasted, like, a week, honestly. <laughs> in my honestly. mind, it, like, lasted a week. Yeah. Like, in the and movie, then, like, it literally, like, later, sped through everything. Then it's... Yeah. I don't know. It's so weird, weird because the books are, like, so short. Yeah, they're, like, they're super... They're super... Maybe they're not that short. Fast-paced. But, like, you know? Yeah, they're fast-paced. So I always think it's, like, it feels, like a couple weeks but then you realize it's a year and i'm like whoa it's the same thing for like slower paced books but they're like set in a couple days and i'm just like when it's like fictional worlds i have no clue what time yeah honestly like like, mm -hmm. it could just be anything because time is just irrelevant for fantasy in so many books they literally never mention time and then they're like we've been at this for three months and i'm like really talk about like the day like what the sky looks like (laughs) like oh my gosh the sun was setting i guess that's why like realistic fiction is easy though because like we understand 
seasons we know generally what most people's school get like you know just like how wise. life is usually mm-hmm. so it's like something that like, just... oh if people are drinking hot cocoa it's probably winter mm-hmm. yeah something that just sticks with me is the thought that romeo and juliet takes place in three days they do be going at it though they're literally no, uh, they're invested it's crazy what? because they meet and they meet at night and then the next day they get married but then that same day a whole bunch of things happens and romeo is banished and then the next day they, they die. die it's three days I mean, wow really way to be productive because really everyone knows they die in the end right Everyone knows that Romeo and Juliet die. I mean, way to be productive for them. I know. I wish I could do that. They're getting a lot of work done in three days. Like, we're making fun of them. Okay, maybe they died at the end, but they still did a lot. Yeah, they, like... Yeah. (laughs) They they accomplished a lot, especially because Juliet's 13. Kind of sus. Anyways. (laughs) Laura Jean is not, and so that's okay. Yeah. And neither yeah. is Peter. Well, she's like 16, yeah. right? 17? Probably. She's like, she becomes a she senior in like drive. the third book, so she's like around that. Yeah, she's 16. Probably. Or 17. Because Kitty's like, I'm not going in the car with you without my helmet. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Kitty Kitty seems so old in the movies to me for some yeah, reason. Yeah, because the actress like, is. Well, no, because the actress is literally like graduated high school i think yeah the actress is pretty old but then kitty's so like she's so small in the books she's nine she's nine it's crazy and then margo like the actress for margo she was in pretty little liar so i could only see her as like oh really yeah, that, i haven't watched pretty little i could liar. only just see her like her character from pretty because like the whole thing in pretty little liars is that uh, her character is a psycho so i'm just like it's, it was like kind of I love that it's kind of weird to see her all like normal and like not wanting yeah. to kill everyone oh, it was so annoying in the books like she was okay in the movies because she was just kind of non-existent because she was in scotland but in the books laura jean you can see her thoughts and constantly she's just like Oh, but Margo, what would Margo think? But that just makes Margo seem so judgmental. That's like, true. No, because she was like, Margo always makes breakfast for us. Margo always does this yeah, on I Christmas. Know. Margo always oh my makes gosh, cookies. Every time I think you say Margo, I just think of the Margo from, like, Paper Towns. Oh, um, yeah. From I thought of Margo from Paper Towns as Margo from To All the Boys I Loved Before. Oh, really? Same. I thought of yeah. the Margot. I just from... envisioned her to look like that, like Margot, but more angsty. I thought of her as younger too, but you know. I yeah. mean, she is in college though. Mm-hmm. So she's yeah. like kind of old, not really old, but like. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> but then at like the end of the book, when Margot came back from college, she was so mean to I Laura know. Jean. She was. Like, that was uncalled like, for. Oh, you already did the Christmas cookies. Why didn't yeah, you? Yeah, it's just like me? you guys decorated without me. It's just like, girl, you were studying abroad. What else yeah, do they like do? Scotland. You what know what you did do? when you went to Scotland. Yeah. You just you. There's so many good colleges in America that for someone to just go to Scotland and then be salty. I, that I thought like the whole thing for her. I don't know like she should have like stayed. Like Laura Jean was like, oh, I have to choose a college that's like closest to family and then margo's are like now i'm gonna bounce off to scotland yeah because well, she was like margo like you know laura jean's always like margo is like the explorer she's so cool da, da, da. and so like margo's over here like i want to travel the world and then laura jean's like well i don't want to leave my family <laughs> that just yeah, reminds margie. me of the two twin sisters and fangirl oh yeah, yeah. It kind of Catherine bothers Ren. me because Laura Jean has no independence in her at all. Yeah, I think she's very because she relies on her. Yeah, because she relies on her family, and then when she gets together with Peter, she relies on Peter, and she relied on Margot. But then the second Margot left, she was just not thriving. I think <laughs> she's like super codependent because, like, I think she was living her whole life like based on how she yeah. thinks Margot would have thought of her, you know, or, like, how mm-hmm. other, mm-hmm. like, how her family would have seen her as, you know. I think she didn't really, like, yeah. find, <laughs> like, what she really wanted, I guess. I don't know. 
Maybe that's why she makes bad decisions. Yeah, I think that's it's because, like, she... maybe she also gets scared. Like, she was scared of, like, what Margot thought, you know? Like, she didn't say anything to Margot. Yeah. So it's, like, kind of sad because she, like, reliant mm-hmm. on Margot. The thing that really bothered me was that Josh kissed Lara Jean when I he know. knew very well she was with Peter. Okay, well, technically she wasn't, but... But, like... But, no, but he didn't know that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I just feel like that was and so like, out of character for Josh. Exactly. Like, like Josh is do. apparently this really respectful, really sweet, really nice guy. Well, his but he has parent issues, though. Yeah, yeah, but that issues. doesn't excuse Daddy the issues. fact that he yeah, just like. I mean, like, yeah, it doesn't. It doesn't equate anything. Sexually it's just like assaulted her. exactly. What college did Josh go to? He like became super irrelevant in the oh, other books. Oh wait, oh no, that was John Ambrose. Never mind. Yeah, Josh like became super irrelevant in the other two books. Yeah, that like, he literally disappeared me. after the first Honestly. book. I was so confused because he was like the whole reason. Did he like move? Everything or started. He was probably know. there at some point. I just forgot. Yeah. But another thing is that it, it's so weird to think how Laura Jean, to show that she was with Peter in the beginning of the book, she just got up to him, like, ran to him and kissed him. Like, that's also very out of character. Like, yeah, the um, whole... First of all, consent. What, yeah, consent. What's with all these people, like, sexually assaulting each other? I, I know! know. <laughs> And, like, oh my God. technically, they are in a relationship, but, like, first of all, PDA is just weird. Why would you, yeah, why, would, why would they PDA. fake it? Like, just just be in one, like, <laughs> honestly. Yeah. Like, just might as well just and be in one. And, like, the fact that she did it in the hallway, like, girl. It was busy, too, because everyone was just like, oh, T, whoa. And, and like, like, guys, Laura Jean and Peter. Oh, my God, scandalous. <laughs> and oh, I just... That's so out of character for Lara Jean, because Lara Jean's just the home buddy who likes home body who likes home body. <laughs> it's kind of cute that she bakes, but it's also, like, a little concerning, because, like, you know, there's, to some extent, like, baking is definitely therapeutic, but, like, she literally stayed up at night to bake because she was stressed. Like, I mean, I stress think at that point, you thing. might as well just go get some help from, like, a yeah, counselor. She needs therapy. Baking. She really does. I think she does. Yeah. She never coped very nice. with anyone's loss, really. Like, her mom, obviously, you know. Yeah. Why did Why did the girls not go into counseling after her, their mother just, like... Because her mother just died all fell of a sudden. Fell down the stairs. Or not fell down the stairs, but, like, tripped and yeah. died. Yeah. And then she was fine, and then she, like, passed out and died. Like therapy because obviously they're still not over it after all these years and yeah you'll yeah. never ever get over it but i don't know maybe they like, just think therapy is not necessary i don't know it seems like laura jean has separation anxiety she sure. probably does like yeah that's why she's so code and codependent We've we figured wow. it out, guys. We are. The this therapists. is probably something that everyone else in uh, in the entire book community knows, and we're just over here like, yes, <laughs> yeah. They're probably just like, oh, you just realized. We've been and we're new. Like, yeah. We're just like, guys, guess what? And they're like, we've been new. <laughs> yeah. It makes so much sense. That's why she bakes because she needs to like give them treats so they can stay with her. Uh, they're not I dogs. Don't, I don't know about that, <laughs> but it's like, I don't know because. I mean, honestly, I wish I could bake as well as her because she would make, like, whole oh, yeah. pastries. Yeah. And, like, pastries are so hard. What? Yeah. You know what? The more I think about it, Laura Jean's actually really well-developed. Well. Like, you know? Well, she's... Mm, I like, mean, like, to some she, extent, as, she's As we've been talking other about it, I see, like, there's more to her yeah. character than just, like, writing love letters and reading romance novels. Yeah. I love that she reads romance novels. It's very cute. And how she's like, I read them because I want love, but at the same time, I'm too scared. I'm having a crisis because I think that I might be more like Laura Jean than I thought. I thought I was like Margo, where I was so cool. I was dependent. <laughs> independent. I think I'm like, but now I'm like I'm the like... dad. <laughs> <laughs> what? The dad who's just trying his best. Honestly, yeah. their dad is thriving. I'm not going to lie. I know. But... 
I thought I was all dependent, independent, like, I was gonna go to Scotland, I'm gonna be that cool person, but after being stuck at home with quarantine, I'm realizing how often I just go up to random people and just not wash them creepily, but I just kind of sit in the same room because I don't want to be separated. <laughs> oh. Yeah, I think I mean, I'm sometimes... more like Margo. You know what? I just really like the sistership in general. Like, I think that was the highlight of the book. Yeah. It was cute. I don't know. It's better than Peter and Largy. No hate. True. That's true. Because the thing is that kind of makes sense in the sense that Margot knew their mother the best. And she's the oldest. And she's mature and independent. Like, she's a queen. So she obviously is the mom friend, but like the mom sister. <laughs> and then Lara Jean's just, you know, thriving. She's trying her best. We don't blame her. So she's just there. And then there's Kitty, who's the baby. And, like, I just Kitty's think it's so really cute. sweet because, obviously, their family's really close and, like, tight-knit. So. I like the part. I don't know. I think this was in the books. I'm pretty sure it is. But, like, Kitty was, like, I literally canceled my plans to do stuff with you on a Friday night. And I'm in middle school. Oh, well, in the yeah. books, she's in ninth grade. But, like, or not not ninth grade. In middle school. Oh, I can't say anything. In the books, she's in elementary school, but in the movies, she's, like, in middle school. Yeah, that's... I think that was in the movies, but I think... Kitty was just so much cooler in the movies in general. Yeah. Kitty was so cool. Like, she I just seemed her. less she's annoying in the movies. Maybe because, like, yeah, she just seemed more mature. Older. Yeah. Yeah, because in the book, she's so young. I know. Like, and, yeah, and, like, all the stuff she does, it just seems, like, so annoying and, like... Yeah. spontaneous it's like when you're older it's just like kind of a joke yeah. it's kind of funny but like when you're younger like you're probably serious about it but it's just weird because yeah. like for them older like in the movie like when Lara Jean found out that kitty was the one who like sent all the letters oh my god and that? i like i got pissed off at kitty but then at the same time i was like mm-hmm. i mean like Laura Jean got no. I'm still pissed off. I mean, like I'm she, angry. Laura Jean, like found Peter, and then you know. But then also, well, it was because like Josh was over, and then yeah. they were talking about like getting a dog. Cause oh my god, there was a whole part where they wanted a dog. Oh yeah, they yeah. did get a dog. Yeah, and they named it oh. Jamie Fox Pickle. Yeah. What? Well, why would they do That's that? Like worse than Fleetfoot. <laughs> yeah, it's fine. You but know, um, like. She, they were talking about like dog names and they're like yeah we uh kitty wants to name it after the guy she likes his name is and then kitty was like oh my god no and it's like josh but then, and then she's like i'm so angry i'm gonna mail your letters that are super super intimate and hidden from the world to these people like yeah girl but it's chill. better than the logic in the movie because in the movie kitty sent out the letters in hopes that Lara jean will get a boyfriend yeah. who can drive them like that that, that makes stupid. less sense <laughs> <laughs> yeah that's i mean she got what she wanted she right? <laughs> got what she wanted like peter has a fancy nice car yeah and yeah i mean i don't know it just seemed okay, like she ruined her sister's yeah. life for a month but yeah. you know she gets a cool ride to elementary school and that's what counts yeah she gets a designated driver and laura jean gets a uh, several life crisis Crises. It's, it's the perfect balance. Yeah. I mean, I just wish it was a better dog name because yeah. it's so long. Oh my gosh, I remember those times like we would be texting it. and we would just like think of like really cute baby names or dog names. Yeah. Oh I literally God. came I up with the name Adler and then Doris was like, I'm going to add it to my list. I'm like, girl. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't say I'd add it to my list. I was just like, dang, that's You said, cute. I'm going to add that to my list. And I was like, girl, I'm going to go off at you. <laughs> but I was like, nah. <laughs> Anyways, coming up with like, coming up with name. dog names are like so cute. Though. It's so fun. I or like know. kid names. Anya's super set on naming her child Gem. But you know, Doris and I are like super <laughs> flexible. I know, but... <laughs> This okay, so at the moment we're recording this, there's like Joshua Bassett, Olivia Rodrigo drama, and so it made me realize how bad J names are. But then Gem is a J name, and I would name I would raise Gem right, but just the I'm sure thought. all of the parents with kids with J names thought they raised them right, but look at them now. Oh, don't say that to on you because the name Gem is so precious. Because um, I don't think this is well, Anne Shirley's child. Is named Jem, 
Mm-hmm. And you're named after her, Anya Ann. Like, that's yeah, a whole yeah, other yeah. thing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Exactly. So, automatically, I basically have to name my child. You Jem. have to. <laughs> and then, Jem Carstairs, because... Yeah, Anya, obviously. you, like, made and a blood oath. And then, Jem Finch from To Kill a Mockingbird. Like, that's three characters named Jem. Like, how can I not? It's a sign. <laughs> Jem, that, Jem Finch has nothing to do with anything you said earlier, though. <laughs> okay, Jem Finch. But he's we not love a bad character. Finch, he's a little anyway. weird, but like he's part of the theme. Yes, you know, the whole yeah. book thing. Anya sees a person walking the streets named Jem. It's a sign. <laughs> <laughs> it is. I mean, it would well, I'm out be a here sign. like so indecisive because I want to. I'd be so I'm... down to name my kid after Will Herndale, but his name's William. You. I'm like. Why would I do that to a kid? Uh, I want to like name my child or dog, something <laughs> or cat too. I might get a cat, but I mean, like anything just like literary, like themed, you know? Yeah. Like I thought of Estella and Adler. I think I'm pretty oh set God, on those. So Wait, what's Adler from? Sherlock Holmes. It... Irene Adler was the oh, first yeah, woman yeah. who outsmarted Sherlock. That's so cute. Anyways, <laughs> um. Lara and Peter, uh, I really hated the ski trip so much. Oh, yeah. So, 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 oh, so, so, my so God. much. It just not, make not sense. just like the hot tub scene. Blah, blah. <laughs> if Laura, if Laura, 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 if Laura didn't want to go on the trip, why would she waste money Honestly. and drink hot tub? It's like, so expensive. Girl, it was you in were... their contract. Okay, well, she's literally probably spent at least $200 yeah. to go there. No, it's and probably like, more because they like stayed year. in the lodges and stuff. Yeah, yeah. Like every year they just go to a ski trip, and it's not even like something in- informative, like a field trip or whatever. It's a ski trip. It makes, and then they have like only private schools have that, like bougie <laughs> private schools. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. All those type of like trips just seem so like irregular for high schools. Yeah, yeah I mean, like in co- or in senior year, there was like a college trip sometimes where you like go to places yeah like this and trip. look at colleges but normally that's also for like rich rich schools and yeah. or teeny tiny groups of people you know not like a whole yeah. grade level there's probably like clubs that do that or something yeah but like i don't think yeah, there's, there's literally clubs club. at our school that go to ski resorts what yeah there's a club at my school it's a travel club and they go to like places like spain but the thing with the trips like travel clubs they cost over a thousand dollars to go exactly yeah it's very costly like, that's so, so laura jean basically just spent like over a thousand dollars because of a contract because she was fake dating this dude because she and didn't, she didn't even tell do one anything. person that she didn't like yeah him. she didn't even like go she skiing. didn't go skiing she didn't people. go snowboarding she just sat there and read. imagine well no she was going to go on the slopes but then she saw peter with jen and then no, she, she went she back wasn't inside. gonna go on the slopes anyway but she like that's worse <sighs> but she just got upset that peter didn't offer her to for them to go together or whatever. Offer to teach her how to so ski stupid, right? on a ski trip. Is, that makes no sense because she was angry at Peter. And, well, no, Peter was angry at her because she made the mean, like, she made the douchey move to not sit with him on the bus. Yeah, like, exactly. Like, that, okay, that was do that? fully Lars Of course he's angry. Issue. Oh, no. Okay, like, now that you're saying this out loud, it just, <laughs> all the drama just sounds so stupid. <laughs> Yeah. It is, but it's still infuriating because it's so stupid. <laughs> but it's so fun to read. Like, yeah, because you're like, oh my god, go on. You're like, what you're just the in the heat of the what moment. The you're like, oh my gosh, this is like so interesting. There's so much drama. I gotta keep going. But then, like, once you read it and you think about like what really happened, you're like, why you're just was like, it I, so stupid? I really got entertained by that. <laughs> Literally. No, but the thing is, that it's so dramatic in a book, but it's never that dramatic in real life. Oh, so the movie you know, is super dramatic. I'm not gonna lie. I don't know, like, the book just seems so much more dramatic than the movie, though. Like, during the whole ski trip. Yeah. With her not skiing movie, and stuff. in the movie, Peter was just sad. I do like books, how Peter in the books, angry. though, like... Yeah, and then Jen sat next to him and was, like, flirting, and then Laura was like, dang, I should have done that. Like, okay, you're the one who chose to sit next to, um, what's her name? Chris. Amanda? Or something? Chris. Oh, Chris. Amanda. Yeah. Amanda. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> Oh no, I do I like how in names. the books. Like, how did like, you get Amanda? It's not even the same letter. <laughs> like if you said like Christina, I'd be like, 
yeah, kind of. I don't know. I just, I imagined, like, the face, and I was like, oh, <laughs> Amanda. <laughs> no, but Amanda is, like, such a, like, Amanda is the same energy as Jen. No, I think Amanda is, like, the same energy mm-hmm. as Karen. Yeah. <laughs> Karen Smith? Huh? Oh, because Amanda Safer? No? Okay, never mind. No, we didn't make that connection. I didn't make any connection to real people. I just thought, like... I didn't didn't realize you meant, like, Karen, like, old lady Karen. (laughs) I thought you meant Karen Smith. (laughs) You're like, Amanda Seyfried? I'm like, oh, yeah, she is Karen Smith. (laughs) She is. That's why I thought that's what you meant. Anyways, that's not the point. Her (laughs) name's Chris. You, like, really went at it. And I was just like... Laura Jean's the one who sat next to Chris. I do like how, And Peter saved her a seat. I do like how the books are, like, um... Like, the perspectives, you could, like, know more about, like, Laura Jean's thoughts and stuff. Like, in the movies, you're kind of just like, oh, okay, she yeah. did this. In oh, movies, my God. I just remembered Laura Jean forced Chris to go on a ski trip with her. Right. She also forced her to spend over $1,000 <laughs> on this trip. This is a very yeah. bad example of friendship. <laughs> Wait, also, Chris would sneak into Laura's house because Margot didn't like Chris. Oh, right. Yeah. Oh, my, my God. Gosh, Margot's Chris just, is, like, really going at Margo's it. Margot's just, like, getting worse in my head now. Like, I used to love Margot. I know. Now I'm just, oh, like, really? Yeah, because uh-huh. I like the actress of Margot, so. So, you know, kind of default. Yeah. Margot was just like not it because she was so mean to Chris too. She was like, "Oh, like it's like Chris all- is here." Yeah, and she was she was so mean that Laura. She, she probably thought like, that Chris was a bad her? influence. Like, but she's yeah. not even that bad. Like, I mean, well, she did she go to like a bad. concert. She is bad, but she never influenced Laura. Yeah. She's like, if you don't yeah. want to come, that's fine. Like, she just does the bad decisions and. Like, she doesn't pressure Laura yeah. Jean to, like, do any of them. Yeah, I mean, and, like, that's honestly, still... compared to a lot of friends, that's already good, so... Yeah, she doesn't peer pressure. Yeah, but, I mean, it's, like, mm-hmm. it's not a good influence, but, I mean, like, it's, it's, like, she's, it's just, like, a neutral thing. It's not, like... Yeah. Yeah, it's just, like, they don't interfere with yeah. decisions. Well, except for Laura forcing her to come on the ski trip. Yeah, well, that was stupid, <sighs> but, I mean, I... I'm sure Chris had fun, because didn't she go skiing? Did she? I don't, like, I don't know. Chris kind of became irrelevant at some point. I don't think she went skiing. I'm pretty sure she just stayed in, too, and, like, went to, like, the hot tub mm-hmm. and stuff. Honestly, I remember- oh, wait, I feel like in the movies, at least, I think she said she was going to, like, a spa or something. Yeah. I don't know. I feel, I feel like Chris is just not the type to ski. I don't know. I can imagine her. It, with ski goggles or maybe snowboarding yeah i think she's more snowboarding yeah, than she skiing. gives off snowboarding but vibes. even then i feel like she'd be like snowboarding so below me kind of vibe you know she'd be like why am i doing this again no, snow- it's like skiing yeah. and snowboarding is like scary when you look at like the other mountains yeah no oh my and god then- snowboarding is kind of terrifying because one time i had i had to do this like like kind of like little class thing before i went down the snopes Slopes, slopes. <laughs> snowboarding. You can't move your feet. Yeah, stuck but I mean, like when you're when you fall like, down, it's like easier to get up. Like for skis, they kind of like get stuck, and you're like in weird yeah. positions and stuff. And you're like, Ugh. but like for snowboarding, you kind of just like shuffle around to get places. Like it's either that or you like unlatch your foot, and then you have to like oh yeah like, skateboard. But the thing, but when you're like when you're all buckled in and you're ready to go down the slopes, you just gotta jump. Like, jump your way through and just kind of, like, hop to the slope and go and down. Then, and it's so much work and so much core strength. And it's a lot it's harder to, it. like, turn. Because, like, with skis, like, you physically redirect it. Like, you have to lean and such. Yeah. Oh, yeah. And then when and you're on, so- like, the the uh, the lift and you just see people go, going down, like, full speed down a double black diamond doing, like, flips in the air. And I'm like, what the I heck? know, it's so scary. Oh, my God. Ski lifts are kind of terrifying. Yeah, because you have to lift the bar up when you reach a certain point to jump off. And I'm like, no. Like, I ain't no. ready for and that. And it's so high. I remembered once, mm-hmm. I remembered once there was this time where I, like, I didn't get off the lift in time and I ended up falling off. And it was really bad because, like, it started to go around. Like, I didn't get off in time and it started going around. So I, like, jumped off and I felt it was, it was a bad time. 
Yeah, <laughs> ski- getting off ski lifts are so is so hard. And I saw this TikTok of someone rating how people get off ski lifts, and I felt so Ooh. bad because so many people would just fall, and she'd be like negative two out of ten. And I'm like, they're trying their best. <laughs> like, and then there'd be like this little kid who gets off perfectly, and she'd be like ten out of ten, future Olympian. And I'm like, uh, imagine how the other people feel. I literally, if I go on a ski lift, I have to be with someone else. I have to. I literally cannot do it myself. It's so high up. I know, it's really scary. And you feel the weight of, sorry, this is really off topic, but like you feel the ski like being drawn down by gravity. Yeah, it's like uh -uh. pulling you down. And like, obviously there's a bar, but like still. It's one bar and it's literally, so you lift it. That's not very safe to me. And I don't like sitting on like a lift without like, just like people you don't know it's kind of like awkward you're kind of just sitting there and then yeah. they they're like and talking and then i'm stuck. like <laughs> oh my god when they try to like when people in general like strangers try to talk to yeah, you and i'm just like, like on like trains or planes and they're just like so how were you i'm like i'm good yeah, like, sometimes i'm like oh i should i should go talk to that person i remember and then once I'm like, like nope nope once i was on the plane my brother had like a full-on conversation with this girl on the plane i was like okay <laughs> Oh my god, one time on a plane, I, I was like, right, I was going on it by myself, and I had to talk to the person next to me, and I was scared. <laughs> Honestly, <laughs> riding a plane is just scary, I'm not gonna lie. I know. I literally hate, well, okay, I like, I like the idea of flying, but when you're on the plane, and you have to fly somewhere that's at least five hours away... Oh, it gets so bad. Yeah. I know. And your hair gets all knotty. Like, I always have to braid it. Or else they'll, like... Like, you know, when you have, like, a knot, like... like yeah. underneath all the hair. And it's so uncomfortable. But, like, I can't get rid of it because finger combing's not good enough and I need, like, an actual brush. But my brush is in my <laughs> bag and it's up on the overhead yeah. bin. Yeah. And so, like, what do I do? <laughs> Anyways, back to, to all the boys I loved before yeah. because... Oh, my God. They probably go on a plane to some... Trip they eventually. do. They, well, in the in movie, the trailer, they do. They go to New York. In, well, actually, they also they might go to Korea. There, they drove to New York because they're they're only in Virginia. Mm-hmm. It's not that far. West away. Virginia. <laughs> West Virginia. West Virginia is such an interesting <laughs> place because there's like nothing there. <laughs> it's just mountains. Virginia is like a huge place. I know. Oh my the God, sounds, it sounds kind of bad <laughs> when you say that. <laughs> Anyways. Wow, Virginia must feel so special because you're not, it's not just one Virginia, it's West Virginia. Oh, like no, Carolina. Wait, wait. Sorry. What? I was just saying because like, you know how in, in, um, in, oh wait, never mind. I think this is in PS, I still love you. Yeah. But Carolina must feel so special because there's North and South Carolina. And then Dakota, too. <laughs> North and South And Dakota. Korea. Like, all these places <laughs> North are so and cool. South Korea. <laughs> oh my god, Korea is so special, too. <laughs> I just had good memories, like, reading this. I mean, I say this, like, a lot. Not really, but, like, I read this in the beginning yeah. of quarantine. It was, like, the beginning of when I would just, like, start whamming out books. <laughs> Yeah, I just read these books so fast that I don't remember what I did. So they're just kind of there. Yeah, they're, they're just, just like, like sometimes, memory, like the rest of the book series like those, I've read. Sometimes there's those times where like you've read so many books in one sitting. Like once I read seven books in one mm-hmm. day and then I know what happens. Yeah, I, just, see, I don't do that. Yeah, I just don't remember what happened that day. I just remembered what happened in the books. Yeah. Well, it's, I literally read all of them at the same time. Or not at the same time because obviously that'd be weird but like i read them one after another and so i literally don't know what happened in which book so i'm just like oh yeah i did that interesting too. yeah i have some kind of differentiate dif- differentiate i can kind of differentiate them ish i just remember yeah. by like i just think of what happened in the movie and then i'm like oh yeah this happened in that one but <laughs> the movies like kind of mixed it too yeah. oh yeah with like the whole um like resolving hot the hot tub thing yeah. yeah. 
I just remember when Anya was reading the books and she would like finish them so fast. I know. I was just like, oh, dang. And what, yeah, what Anya she, just like, like wow. this is a great Anya week. Speed reads I a lot. have never read that fast. Anya reads so yeah. quickly. She read like five books in one week. I'm like, girl, calm down. Yeah, I know. And then I, I was so confused. Like, how did you read them so fast? Because I didn't think they were like, because the concept's okay, but. I rewatched the movie, so I know what's gonna yeah. happen. So it's not that entertaining. But then Ani just I mean, like to finishes be honest, so I did fast. I, mean, I do then, like how like after you've watched the movie, you can like already imagine like or you already know what happened. So you're just like reading. And you're like, yeah, yeah, I already know this happened. Yeah, I pretend to be surprised. Also I'm like, the oh cute yeah, details the hot that make tub. It better. <laughs> <laughs> but then I read the book, and I was just like, yeah, I see how she read them so fast. Yeah, they're super fast They're just paced. easy to read. I mean, like, I would recommend these books to, like, people who really like romance or, like, you know, like, the corny yeah. rom-coms and all that. I definitely yeah. don't think if people read it, they'd regret it. I just don't think it's, like... Yeah, the movies are pretty similar. They're very so. similar. Well, they're, I like the there's first. just, like, the smaller... The third I mean, so much. And the first movie was very similar to the books. The yeah. other, t- the second movie is not. A little second movie yeah. was similar, just cut out more questionable, <laughs> even though it hasn't. It kind of goes downhill. Yeah, the trailer for the third movie came out like a few days ago, and then I immediately yeah, I saw yeah. it. I saw it in my YouTube recommendation. I immediately texted Doris and Anya. I was like, mm. <laughs> I was like, I don't know. Oh, no, it's not doing well. <laughs> so we'll we see have what many happens issues with it, we but maybe it. we'll discuss yeah, we'll it see. in a future yeah. episode. Maybe maybe it'll be better than what we thought of the trailer. It probably won't. We have, I don't know. We have, I would say we have low expectations, but we really don't. Yeah. <laughs> we have yeah, we have low expectations, low but we're going in it with an open yeah. mind. Well, not I'm not. I know it's not gonna. I'm no. I'm not gonna like it. I'm not. A I'm gonna yeah. try to separate the book from the movie. I won't be able to, but I'm gonna try. Yeah. I will. We'll try. Thank you for listening to Book Expectations with Anya, Doris, and Isabel. Email us at bookexpectationspodcast at gmail.com. That is bookexpectationspodcast at gmail.com for any recommendations on what books you'd like to hear next. Make sure to follow us on Instagram, Twitter, and TikTok, and friend us on Goodreads at Book Expectations Podcast, or click the link in our bio.